Hi everyone, this is Nawaz. I am a trainer in InfoSec Train and in this particular video, we will be talking about data science interview questions. So let's go and see different questions of data science interview, okay, one by one. So let's see the very first question. So here, very first question is going to be, which of the following is one of the key data science skill? So when it comes to data science, so here we have the different options for this particular question. So first option is nothing but a statistics. Second one is going to be a machine learning. Third one is data visualization. And last one is going to be all the above. So here in our question, we have to find out the answer for this particular question, which says that which of the following is one of the key data science skill. So we know that in the data science, we have to use statistics because for simple analysis as well, okay, we have to apply statistics, okay. Then machine learning for model buildings of data science projects, we have to use machine learning and with the help of machine learning, we'll be able to solve different kinds of regression and classification problem. Third one is going to be a data visualization. So with the help of data visualization, we'll be able to visualize our data and we'll be able to find out the insights and more proper way of presenting data in terms of our seniors or colleagues. So these are the three data science skills we have. The answer for this particular question is going to be the last one, which is nothing but all the above. So let us start with the second question. Second question says that machine learning is a subset of which of the following? Here we have the option. First one is nothing but the data science. Second one is going to be a deep learning. Third one is nothing but artificial intelligence. And third one is big data. We know that data science is all about extracting knowledge and insights from the data by using the different softwares, different algorithms and different statistical methods. So we know that, so machine learning is not the subset of data science, but we'll be using machine learning in data science itself. Second one is nothing but the deep learning. We know that deep learning is a subset of machine learning itself. So this option is again not correct. And in the deep learning, we'll be creating the neural network based models. Okay. Third one is going to be the artificial intelligence. We know that in the artificial intelligence, we'll be creating the apps or uh, let's say different programs, which will be stimulating human brain. Okay. And the last one is going to be the big data. Big data is nothing but the any kind of structure, unstructured data. And in the big data, we'll have the data which is uncountable. We can't count the size. We can't count the number of rows in our data like that. So that is nothing but the big data. So the answer for this particular question is nothing but the artificial intelligence because we know that artificial intelligence is nothing but a super set or universal set in that we have a machine learning with the help of machine learning will be able to build artificial intelligence apps. Then in the machine learning itself, we have the again another subset, which is nothing but a deep learning. Okay. So let's talk about the third question, which is nothing but among the following options, identify the one which is false regarding regression. So Basically, in the regression, why we use regression to build a prediction model? So the option A says that it is used for prediction. Yes, answer is true. Okay. Second one, it discovers causal relationship. Okay. So when it comes to a causal relationship, which means that there is one variable in our data, which has a direct influence on another variable. Thus, one event triggers the occurrence of another event. So a casual relationship is, uh, we can say that also referred to as a cause and effect. So here we know that causal relationship is nothing but the, we are just finding out the influence of our variables on another columns or another 
attributes in our data set. Third one, third option is going to be, it is used for interpretation. So we know that while after building regression model, okay, we'll be using those regression model for the interpretation purpose. And fourth one, it relates inputs to outputs. So we know that in the regression, we will be using a label data, which means that just using input data as well as output data, okay, we'll be building the regression model. So here, our question says that among the following options, identify the one which is false regarding regression. So we know that first one, regression will be using regression for prediction purpose. Okay, we'll be using regression for making interpretations and we'll be relating inputs to outputs for creating regression model. So out of these four options, the correct option is nothing but option B, okay? So basically it discovers causal relationship is the right one. Let's talk about the question four. In the question four, what does K stand for in K-mean algorithm? So here we have the different options for this particular question. So we know that K-mean algorithm is one of the algorithm of clustering. Okay, and here we have the option. Okay, so first option says that K stand for number of clusters. Okay, number of clusters are nothing but the number of groups we have to create in our data set. Then second one is nothing but the number of data means the number of rows in our data. Third one is nothing but the number of attributes, number of columns in our data. And fourth one is nothing but the number of iterations means in the k-means algorithm, we'll have to apply k-mean algorithm, okay, in different iterations, let's say four, five, three, okay, totally random. So here in the k-mean algorithm, k stands for the number of clusters because here we'll have to decide how many groups or how many clusters we want to form on the basis of our data, okay? So the correct option is nothing but the number of clusters. Then let's talk about the question for you, which says that which of the following machine learning algorithm is based upon the idea of bagging. So guys, if you know about the idea of bagging, so do let me know in the comment, okay? So let's see the different options first, okay? So here we have the option decision tree, random forest, support vector machine, and navy based algorithm. So here we know that bagging is like a bootstrap aggregation method. It is also called as an insable learning method, okay? And that is commonly used to reduce variance within a noise data set, okay? So here we know that in the first option, option says that decision tree. Decision tree is nothing but again a machine learning algorithm and we'll be using this algorithm for solving classification and regression problem. And it is totally based on a tree-like structure, okay? On the basis of simple question and answer, we'll be creating decision tree, okay? Random forest, in the random forest, it is nothing but a ensemble technique, okay? And here we are using a lot of decision tree and just by using a lot of decision tree, we'll be using a bootstrap sampling and for prediction, we'll be using aggregation method, okay? Then we have the support vector machine. Support vector machine is again a machine learning algorithm and we'll be using this for classification as well as regression problem. And this is totally a linear or non-linear kernel based algorithm, okay? And fourth option is going to be a naive based algorithm. So in this naive based algorithm, we'll be using a Bayes theorem of probability, which is very simple. Okay. And on the basis of that, we'll be creating the model, which is a naive based classifier or naive based regression. Okay. So out of these four options, the correct option is going to be a random forest because we know that in the random forest, we'll be using a bootstrap aggregation. Okay, we'll be using a bootstrap sampling and for prediction, we'll be using aggregation method. Okay, so the correct option for this question is nothing but a random forest. Okay, so here we have a question six. Question six says that 
choose a disadvantage of decision trees among the following options. So here we have the different options. Option says that first option is going to be decision trees are robust to outlier. So we know that in the decision tree, we'll be creating a decision tree model just by using a question and answers. So yes, absolutely. This is not a disadvantage. This is a advantage of decision tree. So first option is not correct. Second option, which says that decision trees can be visualized. Yes, absolutely. We'll be able to visualize the decision tree models. So again, this option is incorrect because here in the question, question says that choose a disadvantage, not a advantage. Then we have the third question. Third question says that decision trees are proof to overfit. So basically, yes, when it comes to decision trees, so this is going to be a one of the disadvantage of decision tree because we'll be getting sometimes we will be getting a decision tree models which are overfitted models. Okay. So and the last option will say that able to handle multi output problems. Yes, in the decision tree, we'll be able to create the models for the multi class classification as well, which means multi output problems. Okay. So out of these four options, the correct option is going to be option C, which says that decision trees are proof to overfit. Okay. So let's talk about the question seven. In the question seven, which of the following is not a supervised learning? So we know that in the machine learning, we have the three different categories. First category is nothing but the supervised learning. Second category is the unsupervised learning. And third one is the reinforcement learning. So here we have the different options for this particular question. First one is nothing but the principal component analysis. Okay. Second option is nothing but the naive based algorithm. Third option is a linear regression. Fourth option is a multi layer perceptron. Okay. And here we have to identify which of the following is not a supervised learning. Okay. Let's start with the bottom option, which means option D. So here we know that multi layer perceptron is nothing but the option D. So this is a supervised learning algorithm. And we'll be using this algorithm for building a classification as well as a regression problem. Then we have the linear regression. Okay, linear regression is again a supervised learning algorithm. We are using this for creating a regression model. Okay, or solving a regression problem. Then third one or the second option is nothing but a naive based algorithm, which is nothing but a again supervised learning algorithm. Okay, we'll be using this algorithm for classification as well as for building a regression model. And the first option is going to be a PCA. Okay, guys, let me know this uh, long form of PCA in the comment section. Okay, so this is nothing but a principal component analysis and we'll be using these for dimensionality reduction. Okay, we'll not be using this for building some kind of models for prediction or regression or classification. Okay, so this PCA is not a supervised learning algorithm. It is a unsupervised learning algorithm. Okay. So the correct option is nothing but a option A, which is principal component analysis. Okay. Now let's talk about question eight, which is nothing but the identify the clustering method, which takes care of variance in data. Okay. Here we have the different options. So basically, when it comes to decision tree, we know that it is a method. Okay. And we'll be using this method for building a model for classification as well as for regression. Okay. Then we know that in the question, question says that identify the clustering method. Okay. So a decision tree is not the clustering method. So this option is out. Then we have a, another option, which is nothing but a Gaussian mixture model. Again, we can say that this is a clustering method. Third option is nothing but a K-means algorithm. Okay. And fourth one, all the above. Okay. So now we know that option A is not true. So option D is also not true. 
So we have the only two option, option B and option C. So here we have a Gaussian mixture model. So in the Gaussian mixture model, we'll be grouping the data which means we'll be clustering the data okay we are finding the cluster just by using a one simple distribution in statistics which is nothing but a gaussian distribution also called as a normal distribution so with the help of this distribution we'll be able to take cares of variance okay in the data and we know that k means k means is a centered based method and we'll be using a distance matrices or the similarity majors so again here okay just by using a distance or similarities in the data will be building or will be grouping the data okay in the k-means but in the gaussian mixture models will be grouping the data okay which takes care of variance in the data so the correct option is nothing but a gaussian mixture model let's see the next question so here Next question says that among the following options, choose which one of the following focuses on the discovery of the unknown properties of the data. Okay, here we have the first option is nothing but the big data. We know that in the big data, we are just finding out the data, which is very much big, okay, in the form of any format, okay, whether it is a structure, unstructured, Okay, or semi-structured in the form of numeric, categorical, in the form of images, audios, videos, and in any format, HTML, CSS, JSON, okay, in any format data. So here we know that in the question, okay, we'll have to identify the following option, okay, which is focuses on the discovery of unknown properties on the data. Okay, then we have the data mining. So basically data mining is a process of extracting and discovering patterns in large data set involving methods at a intersection of machine learning statistics and different database systems. Okay, so third options is nothing but the machine learning algorithm here with the help of machine learning will be able to create the different machine learning algorithms. Okay. And the fourth option is nothing but a data wrangling. So basically data wrangling with the help of this will be able to pre-process our data. Okay. So the correct option for this question is nothing but a data mining because with the help of data mining, it is a process of extracting and discovering patterns in large data set. And let's talk about the last question, which is nothing but among the following choose the correct application of data science in healthcare. Okay, so here we have the different options. First option is nothing but a data science for genomics. Okay, again, we know that genomics is a subfield of healthcare sector. So this option is true. Then we have the another option, which is nothing but option B, data science for medical imaging for identifying just identifying a cancer disease just by seeing a x-rays okay so we know that again this is nothing but a subfield of healthcare sector then we have the third option which is nothing but drug discovery with data science again drug discovery is subset of healthcare sector so the true option is nothing but the option d all the above so guys that is all from my side in this particular video thank you guys thank you very much okay and if you want to see the course and different trainings just check out the website of infosec train by using this link www.infosectrain.com so guys thank you guys thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video